Yeah. Tonight, our essential oil that we're talking about tonight is sandalwood. So, without further ado, we'll, we'll get into this. This is a this is a great oil and has lots of benefits, and um, I think this would be a great class. Sandalwood, yay! So, I want to start off with asking you guys if you want to share any of your sandalwood stories or experiences with us. I've used sandalwood for my dry, cracked hands when I first moved back to Idaho after a while. <laughs> I'd put it in the lotion because it's so much drier here than in Ohio and had really bad skin when we first moved back. Uh -huh. That's awesome. Yep. That's exactly what I'm going to talk about too. <laughs> That's wonderful. Anybody else? Oh, we'll just get right into it. So just to summarize, sandalwood, you can use it to moisturize dry skin. Thank you, Kayla. Um, to reduce blemishes, uh, to care for skin in different ways than just um, dryness and blemishes. And uh, to support healthy cellular functions, help with brain and memory, um, help with meditation and yoga if you do yoga. And it encourages us to be more prayerful and have more spiritual vision. Okay, so um, that's the summary of it. But I just am so grateful for sandalwood. It's such a special oil. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I saw this um, chart in convention a few years ago. And um, so I took a photo of it and recreated it properly. So basically what we were told was that our sandwood um, from doTERRA comes from two places. Um, one is uh, India and the other one is Hawaii. Um, and they both have one of the world's highest levels of centalol and that's a uh, sesquinterpin. So that's a chemical sesquinterpin. That's a chemical constituent found in essential oils. But uh, their chemical structure is so small that they actually have a lot of benefits to us. And one of the main things is that it helps um, with brain function. It goes through the blood brain barrier. So that's really, really important to remember um, because anything to do with um, brains, anything to do with cognitive memory, um, sandalwood is your go-to oil. Um, so, you know, I, I looked and at research and things, I read quite a few, but um, and I actually found out that um, other essential oils, they have maybe 20% sesquinterpins. That's really low, isn't it? <laughs> and um, the Australian one that uh, they found was very organic, very pure, and very beautiful in, in, in aroma, um, but they found that it was only 50% sesquinterpins, so that's why doTERRA opted for the Indian and the Hawaiian. Um, and you'll, you'll just you notice a huge difference when you start using it. That's a good example uh -huh. of why sourcing is so important. You can get the oils anywhere, but mm -hmm. um, get them from the right place, so yeah. they have higher therapeutic and, values. Yeah, and a lot of people will ask me, well, is it, is it organic? And I say, yes, it's organic, and it's actually beyond organic because um, they do more than just to make sure that it's, you know, pesticide-free, it's grown properly. Um, they make sure that it's therapeutic too. So, yeah. I um, was looking at Centilol in uh, the um, online, Mr. Google, and we had a wiki. Uh, <laughs> result and it says a uh, centralol is an organic compound classified as sesquinterpin and we already knew that and it comprises of um, about 20% of sandalwood that's what they say okay and um, uh, as of 2002 about 60 tons of sandalwood oil are produced annually by steam distillation of the um, heartwood and it's very important that we know in doTERRA we um, they do the distillation from the heartwood. It's the dark wood that they are looking for because that's what contains the high level of cisconterpins. 
it's really interesting that the young wood, it doesn't have um, the chemicals that they're looking for. So, you know, if you think about the weather in Hawaii, sometimes when they have tropical storms and stuff, I imagine that the trees would be swaying and, you know, um, going through some sort of affliction. So the wood that they actually get have been through some sort of turmoil to be able to produce that dark wood. And when, when doTERRA came out with their um, Hawaiian sandalwood, they showed pictures of mm -hmm. all this uh, sandalwood and twisted and bent and... and yeah, uh, fallen over. Yeah, and, and I remember Emily Wright, she says, it appears that, you know, the plants that produce essential oils, when they go through the greatest hardships, you know, grow yeah. in very harsh conditions, they actually produce essential oils at a higher therapeutic value. Yeah. So that's another reason why um, the ones in um, Hawaii mm -hmm. bear this higher therapeutic um, range. So they um, actually in Hawaii they had um, a soil that was damaged. I mean, the land was damaged because they tried to cut down the sandalwood trees and um, use that land for cattle grazing, and then it damaged the soil. So what DoTerra is trying to do is um, help uh, replant the sandalwood trees and um, Kind of fix the um, environment there, mm. so that's that's the other good thing too because they're very um, aware and um, responsible in how they get the the products. So the um, the guy who originally introduced uh, DoTerra to the Hawaiian sandalwood, he he actually passed away, but he uh, would wait and stay up for thirty hours as they um, do the steam distillation. And for 30 hours, they got, um, what is it, a liter, a liter of essential oils. So that wasn't very much, but um, it was very valuable. So they had a lot of plant material to make just that much. So you can see how valuable it is. If you see that we have this small five mil bottle here, um, it cost almost as much as a frankincense. But if you think about it, a frankincense is 15 mils. The three of this is much more expensive than a frankincense. So this is... Um, even more um, valuable. valuable. Okay, and it's very, very important that we use the um, the sandalwood that's uh, highly therapeutic. So to start with the story really quickly. I've told this story before, but it's just to show you how um, powerful it is. Uh, so my friend in Australia, she has um, a client um, whose son has severe. Um, mental challenges and he would bump his head against something until one side bleeds and then he bumps the other side until that side bleeds. Um, he's unable to speak and he's not able to sleep for longer than two hours at a time. Um, so after a few years the parents were besides themselves that they have not had proper sleep and rest and things and so when they were introduced to sandalwood um, you know, it was a lifesaver. So within a week, the, the family was able to, um, well, the boy was able to sleep through the night. And that was very, um, you know, life changing for them because they, they haven't enjoyed that much sleep. Um, and the boy stopped bumping his head and um, his head started healing. And then he actually spoke his first word and his first word was happy. So that was a really touching story. I actually got to meet the mom and she told me the story and she said, I can't live without the sandalwood, the frankincense. And so these are the oils that she must have all the time on hand. So that's, that's huge. That makes a huge um, difference in, in somebody's life. And it, it looks so simple. And I think we expect, you know, something really, you know, sophisticated, but um, that's not how, God and nature works. So I really appreciate that. So I've met a few people since then that have had the same experiences. So I really appreciate that we have this very special oil. Okay. So first of all, it's, um, you know, use it for sleep. It's great oil for calming and um, you can rub it on your neck and diffuse it. So the idea is to get it into your brains. So smell it, get the oil particles up your nose into your brain. So it helps your brains produce all those happy, calming chemicals. Okay. Um, so you rub it on your neck 
uh, is just to help with the central nervous system, it delivers the oils to your brains and the rest of the body. Rub it on the big toes just to help get it up um, to the, it's a brain reflex, so up um, into your brain. Okay, so that's for sleep. Anybody here uses uh, sandalwood to sleep? We don't think about it sometimes, but it's, it's one of those oils in um, the Serenity blend. Yeah. Okay. I guess we do then. I just didn't know it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, of course, moisturizer. We can add that to any of our night creams or our face favorite moisturizer. Um, yeah, any, any sort of skin concern. Um, we have lots of names for that, but uh, basically it just helps with the matrix of the, the skin um, in, in mending and repairing. So really good for that. And it's moisturizing, uh, just like cedar wood. It's very moisturizing to the skin. If you add a little bit of fractionated coconut oil, it goes a very long way. All right, so for those of you who have like dry skin all over, you know, make a little um, uh, recipe of sandalwood and your body lotion and just mix it up and you can rub it all over. It'll help with, you know, tension in the body too, so that's good. All right. So you can use it for relaxation. Uh, like I said, it helps with tension in the body uh, because it goes into the brains and it tells the brains to chillax. And so when the brains chillax, the rest of the body can, can let go and take a breather. Okay, so you can put a couple of drops of sandalwood on your body and then start soaking yourself in a warm hot bath um, and make sure that you mix a little bit of Epsom salt in there to help the oils soak to you and not the bathtub. Yeah. Um, okay, so the oil, um, the sandalwood oil is in the Immortel blend. So for the Aussies, it's Salubel, and I think the Canadians call it Salubel too. I'm, I'm not sure. Okay, not sure. It's the anti-aging blend. Um, so like I said, any, any sort of skin concerns, especially those that have allergies, they have um, these very dry spots on their body. So that's very, very good for that. Okay, and the other thing is neurological support. And there's plenty of names that we give any of those concerns, but um, basically they're all brain concerns. You wanna help the brain cells um, clear out the receptors and help the, cell, the brain um, cells communicate with each other. Um, so it helps with the electricals and the uh, chemical um, connections and communications. So smell it, rub it on the base of your neck and across your forehead. The reason why we put oils across our forehead is that um, all the meridian systems run through the forehead. So you're, you're getting the whole, all of the meridian systems when you rub oils across your forehead. And then um, on your ears, big toes, that's how you get into the brains. Yep, so that's the body. <laughs> Anyone want to make a comment, ask questions? That's good. I like how you explain where to put it. A lot of people, they often have that question when they talk about using an essential oil. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now you know if you want to get anything to, into your brains, you do it that way. So I love using sandalwood for so many things. Um, and this other thing is very important, especially for our society today. We get very stressed um, quite easily. So sandalwood is the oil of sacred devotion. So according to the Emotions and Essential Oil book, um, the negative emotion that sandalwood helps us shift are the following. So disconnected from God or spiritual self, feeling empty, overthinking and materialism. And I'll explain that later, the materialism part. And overthinking, how many people do you know <laughs> that overthink? You kind of know somebody, <laughs> me, <laughs> right? So this is a really good oil just to, you know, focus and just do one thing at a time. Um, the positive properties we adopt uh, with sandalwood is humility, uh, spiritual devotion, uh, spiritual clarity, stillness, surrender, and higher consciousness. Um, with the humility is interesting because it actually stops your brains from from thinking and overthinking and using your own um, understanding 
and it opens you up to understanding and knowledge and wisdom from elsewhere. So that's awesome. That's what it really means. So, um, great oil for meditation for those of you who like to meditate um, because it helps you be still, it helps your mind be clear and um, help you, uh, you know, get some inspirations. Now, I, you know, lately I've been thinking about, you know, those um, great thinkers, great minds, and, you know, what they have in common is they have um, a lot of time that they spend thinking. <laughs> they are super thinkers. Um, that's when they do their super thinking is on their own. And then they come up with um, just ideas and, um, and they understand themselves more and they understand the universe. And um, they have uh, awesome ideas that, that uh, come because of that mental clarity. So you can see physically, the cells are cleaning out and it's uh, communicating properly and that's mental clarity. But in your mind, you'll be able to think clearly too. So it's all connected. Um, you know, you can think of different names of people that are great thinkers. I did a search today on um, the top uh, brains and thinkers in the world and there's some really cool names that um, came up. But lots of scientists <laughs> and um, inventors and things. So. That's great. And, you know, Lao Tzu and uh, those uh, philosophers. So they do a lot of thinking on their own. And this is a wonderful oil to help you with that. Okay, can we scroll, scroll up there? Okay, so it relieves obsessive overthinking. So if we have anybody with, um, you know, OCD tendencies, this is a really good oil for you. Uh, two to three times a day, rub the sandalwood on your forehead, on your ears, and on your wrists too. And that's really interesting. The wrist is, um, you know, about making uh, some changes and the back of your neck. So consider wearing sandalwood in a necklace diffuser all day. So that you can, you know, let you just be relaxed a little bit more um, because otherwise you, all the switches in your brain is on and uh, you, you feel unhappy and overwhelmed. Um, it's uplifting to, uh, mood. So you can add it to your favorite oils. I like wild orange. Um, I like cypress. All those are, you know, really, really fun oils to, to mix sandalwood with. But did you know, like all of these blends in doTERRA um, contain sandalwood. So you have your console, passion, elevation, serenity, whisper, in tune and immortal. Yeah, so they use sandalwood a lot because it just it just carries things a little bit deeper and into your brain. So, okay. Any questions at this point? Okay. The other really powerful thing that um, sandalwood uh, does is it helps with post uh, post trauma relief. Okay, so three drops of sandalwood, two drops of frankincense. Melissa and wild orange, one drop of each, and you know, mix that with a teaspoon of fractionated coconut oil. Mix in your hands and just inhale deeply. Okay, so um, you know, you can still have the residual effects of trauma years and years and years later. So, if it um, revisits all the time, you might want to do this on a regular basis and um, resolve it in your mind. Okay. Yep. All right. Anyone want to say anything? Okay, I'm just plowing through this. <laughs> okay, so sandalwood is... Excuse me, Jane. Yes. Jane. I'm sorry, I have a question. Um, as far as um, using sandalwood, what would you um, advise is the best, more, most effective way to use it? Like a drop on the forehead, the back of the neck, or the wrist? I know you said to, to apply or, diffu you know, diffuse it. If you really need that, um, the peace, the relaxation, and, and the calmness that it brings, what would you recommend? All right, the fastest way to get the oils in is to inhale it. Okay, so diffusion. Mm -hmm. Yep. Or the diffuser. Yep. Okay. You're going to put it in your hand, in your palms, and smell it right away. 
Okay. okay. So that will be the fastest way to get it in um, and to change moods. Yeah. And it depends on what you want to, what kind of effect you want. Um, inhaling is good for memory or emotions or mood, those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. But obviously, if you want to do something with your skin, you want to apply it mm -hmm. um, topically. Yeah. And actually, sandalwood is one of the examples that was given in the Modern Essentials book. <clears throat> or um, it, sometimes the way an essential oil affects you is different. Can I just grab my Modern Essentials book? <clears throat> oh, I don't have it. Um, sandalwood, um, when you inhale it, has a different effect than when you um, actually take it internally. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. Let's see. And read the textbook. <laughs> I've read here and there, but not the whole entire thing yet. <laughs> well, the first year I was in doTERRA, uh, that's what I did. The book was a little bit smaller, and I read from cover to cover because I thought, this is amazing. How did I not know this stuff? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's cool. Find it. But for here we me, go. Yeah, go ahead. I don't know. Oh, I'll keep it correct. Okay. Um, I appreciate the um, sandalwood oil, and I use it nearly every day for the spiritual side, actually. Um, uh, you know, of course, you, we use it inadvertently on the face with the immortel and then for serenity for sleep, but um, I intentionally use sandalwood on my third eye for a spiritual insight. So I'll just read from you. This is Modern Essentials book, the seventh edition, I believe. Yeah. Um, page 15 it says, Research has led to, us, led to the finding that the mode of application can drastically influence the effect of an essential oil on the body. For example, the East Indian sandalwood essential oil, when applied to the skin of humans, has a sedative effect on the body, as Ooh. was observed when it talks about that. On the other hand, when the same essential oil was delivered via inhalation, uh, meaning breathing it in um, aromatically, a stimulatory <laughs> occurred, signs of increased auto autonomic nervous system stimulation included increased pulse rate and skin um, con conductance level. Mm. So instead, uh, one has a sedative effect, um, when applied um, topically across your forehead, and held it has a um immediate stimulation. an uplifting yeah. um, effect so so we should go back to the um you know uh, mood uplifting over here so you see the elevation those are fulfilling okay yes yeah. yeah. yeah and because so all those are smelling because it it lifts your mood up but what i said about that boy is that we rubbed it on him, we rubbed his um, forehead, the back of his neck, on his ears, and his big toes. So isn't it funny how it just comes, and then he smelling it, it uplifts. Uh -huh. Awesome, yeah. Thank you, thank you guys. Good question, Peaches. <laughs> I'm gonna inhale that now. <laughs> inhale it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's interesting because I rub it on just to help me relax, but then I inhale it just to help me feel happy. Yeah. So we, we all need to balance between um, being heaven, between heaven and earth, right? Uh, mm -hmm. In the clouds. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, this is one of my favorites. It smells so, it's just so attractive. I love this scent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Handlewood. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, so it's, mm. it's about prayer, right? Um, so yeah, I'll, that too. That definitely spiritual awakening. You said across the forehead. Uh huh. Yeah, on the ears and the back of the neck. Okay. Where at on the ears is the ear lobe or the top of the ear? I usually do the whole thing because you've got reflex points all over, and I just uh -huh. get the benefit for my whole body yeah yeah your your ear also contains like jay said reflex points so you could actually um target a, a spot on the ear depending on what your yeah. effect is 
the, the answer to, to a lot of where to put it or how to use it is exactly what effect do you want the yeah. essential oil to have. Mm -hmm. And sometimes uh -huh. you've got to remember everybody is different. So what might ha work for one person may not work for the other. So you just use the clues that we have in general for people. Mm -hmm. Adapt that to yourself. So like you can look on the reflex chart, just trying to look for that now. And um, yeah, put it on that part of your ear that, is it page 50 or something? Yep. Boy, I'm rubbing it on all the, the oh, whole, the whole ear. ear. <laughs> oh, I actually spilled a little more than I wanted to in my hand here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it, it took forever to, you know, come out and then it finally comes out and it's like, oops. <laughs> yeah, it is a very thick oil. Um, so I feel like sometimes I have to empty it out in you know, a different container or just put a little bit of fractionated coconut oil in there just to help it um, mm -hmm. get a bit more runny. Yeah, because otherwise you're like, mm -hmm. yeah, too much comes out. Mm -hmm. I put it on my forehead. Yeah, so that, you can see that um, the ears uh, in the... So there's the like Modern Essentials, Essentials book with the ear. You can just look at the parts of the ear. Um, so mm -hmm. put it just on the outside, all over the air, probably right just inside. be system, systemic, which means it'll go all over your body. Ooh. Mm -hmm. be good. So, you know, it, it helps uh, us balance between being spiritual and then being mm -hmm. just physically here and only seeing what we can see with our naked eye. Mm. Amen. Mm -hmm. um, my friend, uh, Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> um, I had I have the regular sandalwood. Does it make a diff? Does it make a difference? Is yeah, that Indian have, sandalwood? Yep, Indian sandalwood. It's very similar, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's mm -hmm. between eighty percent and ninety percent. So you just you're choosing between eighty percent and ninety percent. It's still great. Um, with my friend, she actually uh, we were doing some energy healing, and she uh, came up with sandalwood. And I had her smell it, and she's like, oh, poo, stinks. <laughs> and I thought, what? Sandalwood? No way. And we looked it up in the emotions book, and it was about prayer. And I said, what, what's this about prayer? And she burst out crying, and she just, you know, bowled a bucket load and then uh, told me that she doesn't feel worthy of her new, um, you know, assignment and church. And she, you know, and I said, well, why? And she's like, oh, you saw the things that I was, you know, oh, not good. I'm being bad things that I've done. And mm -hmm. so anyways, um, and, I, and then she says, and then I stopped praying <laughs> because I feel so bad about myself. I stopped praying. And she cried some yeah. more. And, uh, and I said, so what's the solution? <laughs> she said, pray. And I thought, yeah. Um, and um, and then after a few more minutes of crying, she, I said, okay, I want you to smell it again. And so when she smelt the sandalwood again, it was divine. That was her word. She says that was divine. Ooh, that's all, a perfect word. Yeah, and all the, the day long in that session that we were doing, she just kept mm -hmm. sniffing, and sniffing that sandalwood. She's like, oh, how, how did that happen? It was poopy, stinky, and then it was divine. <laughs> so, well, because you changed um, so that's another thing we should remember too if we smell it and it's just uh, doesn't smell great then we might want to make friends with it um, and just look at the emotion and, and in your mind you can change um, very quickly okay uh, so this is um, an oil that will help you you know you've seen people that um, when you ask them what they want to do they don't know what they want to do with their life um, yes. You know, what, where you, what do you see yourself five years from now, 10 years from now? It's like, I don't know. Uh, you know, and they just see what is, is presently there. They don't see the potential, they don't see beyond. They can imagine. So, sandalwood mm -hmm. oil to help you um, develop that. Okay. So, mm -hmm. all right. Ooh, some sweet. Wait, we'll I'm going to mute you guys. There. Yeah, um, if you want to speak and say anything, just go ahead and unmute yourself, okay? I don't mind being interrupted at all. <laughs> okay.
So um, for those people who don't know where they're going, what they're doing, lacking lots of purpose, feeling a little bit empty, um, sandalwood might be a really good oil for them that, uh, so that they can have some sort of direction and know why they're here. Because I, I just truly believe that everyone has some sort of uh, path, um, something that they need to fulfill here on earth and uh, they have a purpose for their existence. So we just need to detect that. Um, and that's a wonderful oil to help you do that. Okay, so the word materialism in, that's used um, in the, modern, uh, the emotions book, it, you know, it doesn't mean um, necessarily that you're like a material girl, you know, <laughs> you, you like material stuff. It just means that you can't see beyond. You can't see the spiritual potential. You can't see, um, imagine yourself, um, you know, five years, 10 years from now doing something else. And um, just, uh, you know, it's basically about you creating your life. And if you're not balancing that creative side and, you know, for example, a lot of us here have a doTERRA team that we're building. And so if you look at your team and think, oh, no one's doing anything. No, nothing's happening. Um, you know, with the sandalwood, with the spiritual eyes, you can see, hey, you know, this team can grow this way, this team can grow this way, right? And um, you will be able to uh, have more vision, okay? Um, the other thing that sandalwood does, so, so it's the other extreme now, is for those people that are in the clouds so much. Um, so one girlfriend, I mentioned this before, but it's, it's awesome. She, she imagined her doTERRA team and she was arguing with herself and she's like, no, 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 so-and-so will eat, so-and-so will lie. So I can't put her here. I have to put her there. And she was just, you know, wrapping her mind around putting people in certain places. And I'm laughing because I'm thinking none of this has happened. <laughs> You know, calm down. It's not not happened yet, and it's because she's she's very um, spiritual and she sees things so much. But her challenge is opposite to the other people here, is that she needs to come down to earth a little bit and then be able to take it a day at a time. Okay, because she knows where she's going, what it looks like, but she needs to be present too. And so Sandalwood does that. He helps us balance that way. Um. Okay, and I have this blend that I was forced to come up with <laughs> um, because when we first moved here, we were just inspired to come here to Florida to move back to the US and I was really grateful that everything fell into place that we, we have the ability to do this, um, but I really wanted to <laughs> Get more instructions now. Why am I here? You know, what, what do you want me to do? What else do you want me to do sort of thing? And um, one day I was just really, help me, help me God. I need to open my spiritual eyes and um, get some really pure, uh, clear download. And so this came to me. So I put this together and I call it open for inspiration blend and then, you know, mix it in a roller bottle. And so it's for the listening audience, it's 12 drops of Melissa, 30 drops of frankincense, six drops of spikenard, and 10 drops of sandalwood. Okay, and all that in a 10 ml roller bottle, fill up the rest with your fractionated coconut oil, and then just smell it and rub it on your forehead on in the middle, uh, between your eyebrows, that's where we um, call the third eye. Um, and then uh, just be ready, be ready for inspiration and uh, download from heaven. So, you know, you see, Melissa is the oil of light. Frankincense is the oil of truth. Spikenard is the oil of gratitude. And sandalwood is, of course, the oil of um, spirituality, sacred devotion. So all of these oils together, it, it makes sense. When it, when it came to me, I thought, oh, that really is, makes sense. So um, anyways, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think? <coughs> Any questions or comments? We, like Debbie. I actually haven't used it for a while, but when you first when you first told me about it, I made it. Oh, cool! I was using it for a while, and I need it again. So, and that's I think I didn't use it for a while because spikenard was not favorable to me. And 
like it, it's pretty potent. You can really smell it in this in this blend. But um, I can now, smell it here. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but um, interestingly enough, I don't put spikenard on my body a lot, but I smell it from the bottle a lot. And now, because I think I'm worried about what other people are going to smell, because at first it smelled like feet to me. <laughs> And like, I don't want to go around and yeah. people think that girl smells like feet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> smells <But> like that. <laughs> me, now when I smell it, to me, this is so weird. It smells like dark chocolate to me. Mm, and cool. I love dark chocolate. So <laughs> I don't know. Cool. Dark chocolate loves Woo. you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Bring on the inspiration. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <I know. laughs> It's awesome. Really good. I know um, it's not about sandwood, but our friend Kayla here had a spike nut experience where she had to put on her feet and put the covers over really quickly. <laughs> you want to smell it? <laughs> I did that that night right before I went to bed, and then by the morning it had all worn off, so nobody could smell the stinky feet smell, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how she overcame that challenge. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would put it on, I would drop it on my feet and rub my feet together so I didn't touch it with my hands. Oh, um, I'm sure but, Ron loved that. <laughs> <laughs> my wife has stinky feet. <laughs> he said it wasn't that bad. I, I don't think it, he minded it as badly as I did. Well, yeah. he probably doesn't need it as much as we do then. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> but you guys are friends with Spike Nut, right? Now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's much better. Cool. That's good. We're all friends with Spike Nut. <laughs> and I wonder if there's a change in gratitude from going from stink stinky feet to dark chocolate. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I like it too. My my daughter says it smells like dark chocolate. So funny. I don't smell dark chocolate yet. I better keep smelling. <laughs> <laughs> Neither do I, Kayla. Neither do I. I, I wouldn't put it on and wear it in public. I, that'll be in private. Smell it every day. Every day. Really? The thing is, you know you need it. Yeah. Yeah. Just smell it from the bottle every day. Okay, so it's about surrender, and that's what our next class is going to be about. Yeah. And oh, wow. Level of uh, vibrations. Developing intuition. We yes. should have a class on spike and have you done spike? Oh no, we should. Should have spike <laughs> night. Everybody bring your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody have anything else to share about sandalwood? sandalwood? I love sandalwood. Yes. It's one of my favorites. It's yeah. a beautiful smell from the bottle. It's just yeah. sweet. Yeah. And it's it it smells like a, a sanctimonial oil, <laughs> you know, like something yeah. reminds you of church, yeah. you know, church, you smell the in church, the oil, you know, it's nice. So Very beautiful. About, you know, the sandalwood tree in Hawaii, how it's in the storm. I, I imagine it going, help, help God, help. You know, yeah. <laughs> we get that help God, um, you know, mm -hmm. so it's cool. Amen. <laughs> So it's, it's one of those spiritual oils in the Bible. Um, there, there's a lot of references. You can actually pull it up on the Bible post. Uh, but uh, the Bible refers to it as um, aloe. You know, so it's not like aloe vera, aloe. It's, uh, that's how it's referenced in the Bible. So, and um, they use it for happiness. They use it for uh, wedding um, preparation. It's in a lot of blends. Okay, uh, so we should do, should go to the, got a you, couple of minutes to Bible. Okay, yep. Should be a search bar here. Uh -huh. um, okay. Actually, this is at um, the class that I'm doing this week. Our local class. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Alrighty. So let's see, I don't know if I have it here. So we have the anointing oils. 
in uh, Exodus 30. And mm. all of these different oils here for healing. Yeah. So I'm wondering if doTERRA is going to get his sock or gallivanum. Then it'll be interesting. And hope they don't smell like stinky feet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else on uh, sandal wheel? Okay. Yep, that's all. We'll bring this class to a close. Thank you, everybody, for participating and sharing your sandalwood stories. Um, no sandals were harmed in the making of this movie. <laughs> um, and thank you, everybody, for participating. Thank you. So we'll pause that recording and that recording. I can find that button. Great.